Hello and welcome to this demo for the depth script and you must have already uh, installed it by now if not just go to the readme file and just uh, follow the instructions and you'll be able to install it. Come over here to windows, depth and you basically have your depth script. And so basically this script follows the hierarchy of whatever you have in your composition. So for example this pink square should be in the front, this blue square should be in the middle, and here I kind of want this little square to be parented, a middle parent, parented to the middle. So I'm going to do that right now, just parent it there. Here is back. I want this right at the back. And so whatever's in the bottom will be at the back, whatever is in the front will be at the front, and then it will continue down, or go down chronologically. If I select all of these, and here we have these selections here. We have the focal length, which is, you know, how what kind of millimeter that your lens you want it to be. Basically, layer spacing is how many steps do you want the layers to be spread out. So if I hit disperse, what's going to happen is these, all of these, are now in 3D. They're now in 3D space. But you can tell none of them has moved. None of them has moved from the frame, from the composition of which I've put them in. And here we have cameras now. Now if we go to two views, you can see that we have the front one which is actually at position zero, and then middle and back, you can see they're spread out with 1000 units. So zero, 1000, 2000 in Z space. If you can see them a little bit clearer, it's right there. And now what I can do is I can use a camera controller, null, to move this around. I can move this here. And you can see there's a lot of depth in it. You can go up and down and go left and right. And here, as you can see, the middle parent is exactly in the same spot as middle. So if you have a parent and you're parented to a certain layer, it just makes sure that the 3D layer will be in the same position. Let me just go back a second. If we put the layer distance to 500, for example, and layer spacing to 2000 this time, and then select these layers, hit disperse. And so now the front, instead of being at zero, it is at 500, which is where the layer distance is. It starts at 500, and then the rest of them here, middle and back, is at 2,500 and 4,500. So that's how it works. So this is one of the frames from the depth video. This is one of the examples. And here, as you can see, it is fully animated, all the positions, paths, and everything, they've all been animated. And now I want to add depth to it. Uh, normally what you need to do is you have to go to every one of them, and you use select 3D, and you kind of move them in the spot where you want it, and stuff like that. And I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of them, and make sure these are in the right order, so the rainbow is all the way at the back, and the bush one and everything. Make sure they're all in the order that you need it to be. And then let me just set this to default and disperse. So now we have a camera controller and 50 millimeter and here we can move this around. It doesn't even bother anyone and everything's in the right place. What I can do is I can just have this position, keyframe it, go closer to the horse and maybe like focus on the horse a little bit more and here I have it fully animated. It's just so easy. Now, here's where the move button comes in. Just Let's just say you finish this frame and you're like, oh, this is awesome. And the client goes, I want you to add some flowers. He wants to put it behind this bush. And specifically, he wants to put it behind the bush at this exact spot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the bush and you're gonna take a look at what position it is in. So that's zero. And the lily base, which is 1000, because that's how we distributed it. And we want the flower to be in between. So we just take this and we go to layer distance and then we put maybe like 100. 100 pixels away from the bush. And then we hit move. It hasn't moved from the frame, but it's now sticking to all of it because we have actually moved it over here, almost right next to the bush. The bush is over here, the flower is over here, almost right next to the bush. And that's how the workflow works. The one thing I wanted to mention is the bug that I said in the video. For example, if we take the front and the back and then we disperse it, you know, everything's normal. Now we want the middle parent to be, 
you know, dispersed as well, I want to put it at 100 pixels and then hit move. And now what happened is the parent suddenly disappears. So if I backspace, it used to be parented to the middle, but then as soon as I hit move, I hit move, the parent is gone. And I don't know why, and it's been a year since I touched the script, so I'm not going to touch it anymore. But this is as simple as just parenting it, and that's it, you're done. Like, you just need to make sure. So I mean, just don't use move on like a bunch of parented layers, because you know, you'll bounce get confused. <laughs> Hope it helps you with your workflow. It just helped me a lot. That was because my supervisor when I just started always told me to use a 3D camera. Because we know we just want the camera to be there and all the layers in the right position, but I don't want to spend like 30 minutes making sure all the layers are in the right place before adding the camera, especially if I've already animated it. And this is just a really clean and simple solution to doing that.